Sharice, thank you. We're seeing a lot of injuries as the NFL six weeks into the regular season kind of continues at a lower level, college or high school. So how do you take on sports and how do you take on doing it and keeping your body in good shape? There are a lot of preventative measures you can actually take. So Dr. Andrew Rosano from Beacon Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is here kind of breaking down um, what we do to keep our body in shape when we're in the rigors of athletics. So what do you think, I mean, as far as a high school student, because Friday Night Lights is a big thing. People are playing football or soccer or whatever they're doing, but we talked about kind of in the break being a one sport athlete these days. Not necessarily good, right? Absolutely. The, the biggest thing that we're seeing is that single sport athletes are losing that dynamic off-season training. Okay. So by not playing other sports such as basketball, baseball, track, they're losing core stability, balance training that would, they would usually get. So they're doing the single repetitive training over and over and over leading to other injuries that they normally wouldn't have. So when we see the NFL injuries, um, those are a lot more acute in, in most cases. Traumatic. But for us, um, as young athletes, and I say us, as people that are in you know grade school, high school, college, they're still kind of learning their sport and their body's learning that sport too, correct? Absolutely, and I think that's one of the biggest things is that their body's developing. Yeah. So as it develops, being exposed to multiple sports or even balanced training, proprioceptive training, like a ACL prevention program, bridge programs, help their bodies develop and help prevent these injuries. So how do we do that? I mean, is it the old adage of doing, you know, yoga and ballet and again, mixing it up, or is it more stretching and, and being mindful that these injuries can occur with overuse? I think that we're seeing that we're more mindful of these injuries and then we're applying what we know to these injuries. So we're having our ACL prevention programs, our bridge programs, and we're encouraging kids to play more than one sport. Don't yeah. get locked into one thing over and over and over. You know, you need to experience all these other sports and what they have to offer. And it really helps that dynamic cross training in the off season. So when you have kids come into your office and you're sadly, and in some cases doing surgery on some of these kids that have some significant injuries, what do you tell them? What do you tell the kids before they get to that point? You know, this well, is what you should be doing. Exactly, right when we see them in for these injuries, we, you know, we look at what their training regimen's been, what their injuries are, and then we say, listen, we have to have a patient-specific plan to get you back to your sport and avoid these injuries in, in the future. So we have our bridge programs at, at Beacon that basically take these athletes and get them back to sport, but strengthen the areas that they've lacked to, to train throughout their, their season. And of course, you can find a lot more information on exactly what the doc has been talking about uh, at Be Beacon Orthopedic and also at our website at fox19now.com. All right, thanks, man. Thank you. Absolutely. Good perspective. Appreciate it. All right, we're going to send it over to 